Fairfield, Connecticut, as the 2017 MAC Volleyball Championship Tournament will come to a conclusion, and we'll have a representative out of the MAC for the NCAA Women's Volleyball Tournament. Megan Thyler, it's an interesting story for her this year, really all around one of the best players in this conference. All right, so first question, um, how would you explain the 2017 season? A roller coaster ride. We faced a lot of adversity, but we were able to come together as a team and make it work in the end. Me personally, definitely the biggest adversity I've had to face, but as a team, didn't even seem like it kind of faced us. So it was probably a week and a half or two weeks into preseason and um, we were doing a blocking drill and I had come down on one of my teammates, uh, her foot, and I rolled over, I rolled my ankle over. Honestly, it was the initial shock of the outside of my ankle just hit the ground. Immediately went down and all I thought was, oh my gosh, this is the end, like <laughs> it's my senior season and I'm starting it off on the wrong foot. I remember just hearing um, someone go down and then hearing someone start to cry and I had no idea who it was because we couldn't see who it was on the ground and then people moved out of the way and then we saw that it was Thyler and not only was it heartbreaking because obviously her skill is so important to this team but just because I know how much she loves the game and how much she wants to be on the court and how much she wants to be helping. She had uh, what for a lot of people could have been a season ending injury. Um, that was a significant ankle sprain. I don't think people realize that she had the high ankle sprain, she had a tear, and she also had an avulsion fracture. So she did the trifecta on that thing. The worst part was calling my parents, specifically my dad. Um, I know he lives to come watch my games. And he said, you know what, take a day, feel bad for yourself, cry if you need to, but moving forward, focus on what you can control. And after that initial day, I got through the pain and I'm like, what do I need to do to get back out on the court and be of a help to my team? And that's what I focused on. As soon as we were given the okay by our docs, she was ready to go, what can we start doing? Um, what, what exactly can I do? What shouldn't I do? What's the most I can do in a day? The recovery time to get back to not walking normal is about six weeks, and then it can take a long time to get back to level of play, especially someone like Tyler. She gets the extra work in, she takes care of her body, I knew she was going to be back probably sooner than doctors thought. A lot of it is just getting the normal motion back and getting your body to, you know, remember how to walk and, you know, proper stance when walking, how to cut again. A lot of anterior tibialis exercises, so the problem with a lot of kids is that when they get out of the boot, they can only basically stay like this. They can't go forward or up. So the important thing for her was being able to move that ankle, move forward on the jump, and be able to slow it off of it. When I was able to finally leave the floor for even if it was just a centimeter off, I was like, finally, I'm getting somewhere. Like I can maybe eventually get back to jumping like I used to. Yes, it made me really happy that I was able to do it, but it also, got my mind like racing, oh my god, is my ankle stable enough to be able to hold me? Like, And then it was the lateral reactions that was also really difficult to, it was that roll to the outside that initially started this all, is that gonna happen again? Watching her from day one, really pushing herself, and even if it was painful, and maybe even pushing a little bit too hard at times, that just shows the person that she is and how much she wanted to get back on the court. and watching her push every single day and then eventually where it got to the point that she was walking and then she started to run 
just watching all that happen, like you could just see like the happiness, not only that it brought to her, but to everybody else. And once she was able to be back on the court, like that was just, that was just the best feeling. I think anyone can say that if you're not on the court playing the sport that you love, it was tough. It was definitely tough, but I mean, again, even when I wasn't there, they still killed it. So I was just thankful that I was able to come back and kind of fit right back in. That kind of an injury is not something you can go through alone because if you're the only one dealing with it, then all you can think about is how sad you are, not only that you can't play, but thinking about the team, you can't give to the team everything that you want. So everybody on this team has to be invested in helping her get back to 100%, and we were all supporting her from day one, and I think that having your team there for you definitely helps you push yourself even more to get back on the court. Absolutely not. I would not be here without my teammates. They, they were my crutch besides my other crutches. They were my metaphoric crutch, I guess you can say. They were there to support me emotionally, keep my mental sanity under control. <laughs> you know, my first reaction when the injury happened was, I can't believe that's happening to this kid in her senior year. And then just to see the way that she came back from that, and like I said, put in the, the time and, and whatever it took to get back on the court was tremendous. But then just to culminate it with a conference championship and third championship in a row for this program and her being a big part of championship weekend uh, just speaks volumes to who she is as a student athlete and also speaks volumes to our program and, and who each one of these kids, uh, who they really are inside when they face adversity. It's a good life lesson that you come in, you think senior year, oh, it's going to be perfect, it's going to be ideal, it's never ever going to be that way. You can hope for that, but when things in life doesn't go your way, figure out a way and you're going to get it done in the end. And then last one, what are you going to remember about this moment? Find yourself as good of teammates as the girls that have been standing by me since August 9th when we originally checked in because they're the reason that I'm back on the court and they're the reason that we have been successful this entire season.